So this question says, according to a 2008 study, there were five known subspecies of tigers, including the Amur and Bengal, living in the wild. All right, so I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question. I'm going to just write five. I don't know. I know that, you know, one of them is Amur, one of them is Bengal, and of course there's another three that are not named. Scientists estimated that there were a total of 4,000 tigers in the wild. Okay? 4,000 tigers in wild. Of these, 450 were Amur tigers. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So 450 were A. A is for Amur. I'll say A equals 450 because it's not 450 times A. Amur tigers were 450. And X were Bengal. Okay, so X equals B for Bengal. Which inequality represents all possible numbers of tigers in the wild in 2008 that belonged to the Bengal tiger subspecies? So first of all, we know that there are a total of five subspecies. The Bengal tigers are just one out of those five, right? So one-fifth represents the ratio in terms of Bengal tigers to all subspecies of tigers. Now, we know that there are 4,000 tigers in the wild. So one over five should be equal to X over 4,000. Hopefully that makes sense. And that's really only if they're evenly distributed. So they're obviously not because we have 450 Amur tigers. So how do we figure this out? How do we figure this out? I want to go to my answer choices. So choice A, I can simplify this by dividing both sides by 5. And I'd have X is greater than or equal to 4,000 divided by 5 is 800. Is there anything in this question that tells me that the number of Bengal tigers is greater than or equal to 800? No, there isn't. There's nothing that I see in the wording here that says that I have to have more Bengal tigers than Amur tigers. I'm not going to cross it out because it doesn't say that I can't have, that A can't be the right answer, but I'm going to be a little hesitant about that. Choice B, uh, X over 5 is greater than or equal to 4,000, which I can simplify by multiplying both sides by 5, in which case I'd have X is greater than or equal to 20,000. Now that is impossible. There are only 4,000 tigers in the wild. So we can't have a subspecies of those full total number of tigers equaling more than the total number of tigers. So there can't be 20,000 Bengal tigers, basically. So choice B is gone. Uh, choice C, the Bengal tigers are somewhere between 1 and 3,547. Um, so where does 3,547 come from? Well, let's see. So 3,547, if those were the Bengal tigers, and then we knew the Amur tigers were 450, what does that get us to? 7, 9, 9, 3. And then I guess, yeah, we could have just one tiger of each of the other. I remember there's three other unnamed types, so maybe there's just one of each there, which would get us to our 4,000 total. That's possible, right? I mean, it's kind of weird, but it is possible that we have... 450 or more tigers, one of this unnamed, one of this unnamed, one of this unnamed, and 3,547 uh, Bengal tigers, and really also any other combination of values less than that. So I like that answer, actually. I like that answer a whole lot better than A, because A is saying that it has to be greater than or equal to 800, and C is saying, well, no, it's really a big range, somewhere between 1 and 3,547. Um, and then D is saying that it's X is between 3,547 and 4,000. Um, so that is impossible because we know we have 450 or more. So for Bengal to be greater than 3,547 is actually impossible because that would squeeze out the Amur population that the question told us we have. So that's gone. So the best answer here is choice C.